all hope you guys all are fine and doing great and this is coding apps and now in this video i'm going to uh, i'm going to show you like how you guys can you know deploy your erc20 token contract to uh, with the help of truffle to any blockchain so like okay and now uh, also like we are going to see like how we can you know uh, mint the tokens mint erc20 tokens so okay this is our contract that we have written in the last in the last video and yeah this is uh, uh my truffle develop and yeah everything is up to date because in the last session we have you know we have compiled our contracts but we haven't deployed it and now how we are going to deploy it so this is what we are going to see so first of all you guys have to create uh one file so okay let me close this so yeah first of all you you guys have to create one file in the migrations folder with the name it it is a, it will be a javascript file but with the name to underscore deploy uh, deploy uh, okay uh, dot js okay it's fine it's up to you but you have to mention that too because otherwise the truffle framework will be confused because you know that is how this truffle uh, truffle framework is working right now so okay i thought i hope you guys know about uh, about this so okay so this is our file and now we have to copy this code because now we are going to deploy it so okay and now in this file you guys have to mention the contract name and what is the contract name where is my contract so here is my contract and this is my contract name and I, i'm going to copy it and where is my second file okay so here you guys have to mention the contract name okay this is a variable so it should be like erc token okay this is camel casing uh, okay and you guys have to mention the same variable here okay erc token and that's it that's it this is the uh, contract deployment file okay okay yeah that's it so now i'm already in the truffle develop and uh, so like to deploy it there is, there is one command so to deploy all the contracts right now we have two contracts the first one is the migrations contract and the second one is the our is our erc20 token contract so same we have uh, you know two uh, javascript file for truffle framework so that you know truffle will deploy our contract so one javascript file is for the migrations contract and the other is for the uh, our erc20 token and now i'm in the truffle develop and now i'm going to write one command migrate so this command will uh, is going to deploy our contracts okay and now i press enter and okay there is nothing to compile okay truffle develop okay let me see I think I have already deployed. So if you guys have already deployed, then you guys have to do migrate minus minus reset. Okay. 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 So yes, now, 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 now you guys can see like okay, when I press migrate minus minus reset, and uh, so now uh, the truffle framework deployed uh, first deployed the initial migration contract and the second deployed the our my token contract and the, you can see this is the transaction hash and this is the contract address and okay this is the account that the truffle framework used to deploy this contract okay so now we have successfully deployed our contract and now how you can you how you guys can see like we have deployed the contract or not so okay so let's uh, uh let's write one command let one line of code let instance okay this is a variable is equal to await and then okay what is the name of the uh, our contract so it should, it is like my token dot deployed okay dot deployed this is it and if i press enter now okay there is error let instance is equal to await my token dot uh, deployed what is the error okay i think my token is not defined uh, my token dot deployed ah i think I think I think I think yeah there sh there should be a capital T here okay yeah so now I got the undefined so undefined means like okay I have successfully deployed it so now if I press you know uh, the instance variable uh, I'm calling the variable and now you you guys can see I got all the all the functions that uh, are present in the uh, in our ERC20 token contract so you guys can see this is the total supply function this is the symbol function this is the name function okay so all these functions are uh, available in the erc20 token contract so where is the where is our erc20 token contract so here is the erc20 token contract so this is it so now we have successfully deployed this contract on a test blockchain with the help of truffle and now 
what we are going to do okay so now let me call uh, because in our contract in our erc20 token contract we have defined the uh, name of our uh, token and then we also define the symbol of our token so now how you know i'm going to call it so like okay once again i am calling the variable in which you know the all the contract is deployed and so like the variable name is instance and now i'm going to call the function from the smart contract from the erc20 smart contract so let me show you what uh, the function that i'm going to call now so okay the function name is name so now i'm going to call the function from the erc20 token contract that we just have deployed few minutes ago okay so instance dot name and then double bracket and this is okay so this is the contract name of our to of our contract and now uh, there should be one more function yes the symbol function so okay let's test this instance dot symbol okay and now we got the mtk because we have defined the same symbol in our erc20 token contract and now the second step like we have successfully de de deployed this contract um, on the test blockchain and now we are going to see like how we can you know mint the tokens and how we can mint the tokens or like in other words like how we can give the tokens to ourselves so okay there should be a function in the erc20 token contract so let first you know uh, let's see the function uh for the mint function so this is just for the total supply function this is not going to work the balance function is to see like how much balance uh, a user has okay and uh, okay this is the transfer function if you guys want to send uh, some tokens to another address uh, this is the launch function okay we will see in the next few videos this is the transfer from okay increase the launch no decrease there should be a uh there should be a main function okay so yeah here is the main function and this is an internal function okay you only call from the uh, inside of the contract okay and this is authentication or the condition first of all the uh, address should be not equal to zero okay and then there should be like okay so and in this uh, you know uh, in this uh, function there is a, like a total supply so obviously when you guys you know mint the tokens the total supply will increase and then also okay so whoever is going to this so whoever is going to you know uh, mint the tokens obviously the balance of that user is going to increase so this line is for you know uh, this is a mapping and this mapping is basically to increase the balance of the particular user and this is just the event okay 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 and yes this is the function that uh, i'm uh, i was looking for and now okay we are going to mint it and how we are going to can and how we can mint it so we are going back to our contract and now we have to write again because we have to call this function and the function name is underscore mint underscore mint and okay underscore mint and how many parameters uh, like okay this uh, arguments this function is asking about two arguments the first is the address and the second is the amount so like on which address you guys want to send the tokens or to mint the tokens uh, in other words or and and how many amount you you guys want to mint and so the address should be like msd.sender okay msd.sender is like whoever it's, uh, whoever wants to uh, call the call the function or to deploy the contract so in in our case so when the constructor run it means like uh, the at the the address is going to the uh, the first address is going to deploy the contract and all um, and also the first address is going to uh, receive the tokens and how much amount uh, is like uh, i think thousand and it this is not a thousand ether this is in the way so it's in the units okay and yeah semicolon okay that's it so we have successfully you know write one um, uh, line of code and basically we have called the we have called the mid function and now i'm going to save it okay and now we have to uh, redeploy the contract we have to redeploy the contract by migrate minus minus reset okay 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 so yeah we have successfully redeployed our contract and yeah okay okay and now we are going to test it again so like okay uh, again the variable name will be instance is equal to await and then the 
contract name so the contract name is my token with the capital t because i forgot to write the capital t in the last time and then the deployed keyword okay okay that's it yeah okay so you guys can see like uh, i got all the functions from the erc20 token and now i'm going to see the balance of my address and so okay so like how uh, i can see the balance of any address basically so again we are going back to this uh, erc20 token contract and there should be like i already shown you there is a balance of function so yeah this function can give you the balance of any address and okay and now i am going to you know uh, call the again call the variable call my variable again and the function uh, is dot balance of okay balance of and in the balance of we are going to see the balance of my first address because in truffle framework there are you know there are many test uh, accounts you know if i show you we have uh, talked about yesterday maybe but uh here no 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 so like okay there are multiple you know test accounts so obviously the first account uh the the first test account is deployed uh, deployed this contract so i'm going to see the balance of my first account okay so like how we can uh, do it uh, so like accounts okay and then in the okay the first account because uh, the basically the account all the test accounts are basically in array so the first account uh, will be start from zero because arrays index always start from zero and yeah and i'm going to close it going to close my bracket so yeah this is it and now you guys can see like uh, i you know uh, i got the bn this is basically an object but yeah okay what is bn bn is basically uh, a big number it's basically a javascript library to you know to show the big numbers because you know after these thousand we have you know again 18 zero so big number is basically a javascript library to to show the uh, to show the big numbers but uh, we can convert the uh, convert these big numbers into a real number very easily and how we can convert it and you guys can also see like i got my balance because i got my minting balance it was like 10000 okay and now we if you guys have any problem because maybe you guys can get only the bn you guys cannot see these uh, you know uh, the opt the parameters uh, so the key and value pair basically so if you guys cannot see then uh, what you guys can do you, you guys can create one more variable so like result and then again is equal to await and then you guys have to call the function again and what is the function name balance of o is the capital and yeah and again accounts okay this uh, the first account i'm going to call it okay and let result is equal to weight balance of yeah a weight balance of but yeah i forgot to instance i forgot to write instance instance dot balance of and now i am getting the result is like undefined so like how you can you know i can see the real number so result dot so to convert big number into a real number there is a keyword like two number number okay so like now you guys can see like my first address account of zero uh, this is the first address that deployed this contract and now i have 10000 tokens 10000 way okay so yeah this is it so we have successfully deployed the contract and then we have successfully you know mint the tokens and give tokens to ourselves so this is how you guys can you know mint the tokens in with the help of erc20 token contract from open zeppelin and this is very easy and now in the next uh, few videos we are going to you know extend this erc20 token contract because you know we have so many uh, we have so many things to learn because we have so many presets or we are going to you know extend this contract by ownable uh, we will inherit this contract ownable contract and then uh, kept contract also like there are so many you know uh, contracts we are going to inherit 
and we are going to extend our ERC20 token contract. So this is it from this video. See you in the next video. Bye bye.